Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Are we... very old friends? Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to my Winter TV Sweeps Week, a week where I dedicate every single day of the week to television shows that I am currently watching by the season. And let me tell you guys, this is going to be an exciting week because I am currently watching a total of 27 shows. I don't know how I'm doing it. I don't know how God is helping me. Maybe I sold a portion of the, my soul to the devil in my sleep. But what I do know is I am watching way too much television and more television than I think I ever have watched before. And I am quite happy about that, especially in regards to the fact that Young Justice has been renewed for a third season. But we'll get into that when that season finally arrives. So to begin our week of television talk, we are going to start with premium channels, and we're going to be talking about one of my favorite shows on Showtime, the seventh season of Shameless. Once again, the Gallagher family is back with a whole new bunch of tasks and challenges to overcome. A lot of comedy ensues, a lot of drama takes place, and all in all, the Gallaghers are stronger than ever. Now, I haven't really been toting this show as much as I used to when I started watching the first couple of seasons, but I will say that the seventh season is definitely one that that redeems this show. I am just enjoying everything that is happening to each and every one of these members of the Gallagher family. William H. Macy as Frank Gallagher is probably having one of his most hilarious schemes to date. It is so funny, and through the episodes it has only gotten better. Fiona has definitely taken a very interesting turn. Ian's story involves a whole bunch of interesting people in the LGBTQ community. And Carl has gone and done a very interesting life choice that I think you're all going to be very impressed with. But I will definitely say that if you haven't started watching this show, you must get on this show. It is now on Netflix, so you can power through the first six seasons, and you can always catch it on demand on Showtime. But that's enough for Shameless, guys. I definitely would recommend this show to anybody if you want to see a great drama comedy show and a very, very natural show. And now let's talk about HBO. The first one that I want to talk about is the second season of Ballers starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This is a show that I did not expect big things from, although I was very positive about it because it involved a lot of the people who produced and gave us Entourage. And I was also a big football fan, so this was also something that I was very interested in seeing. And the second season, I would say, is probably not better than the first season. It's just as good. I appreciate the show because being a fan of football, I am very interested to see what takes place off of the football field and during the offseason in regards to everything from contract negotiations, trade deals, and how players truly feel in regards to what they want to do in the next season and what they want to do with their money. Dwayne Johnson's character, Spencer, has a little inkling of his past pop-up, who is actually in the form of one of the greatest actors of all time, Andy Garcia, as another sports agent financier. And to see the two of them clashing was definitely interesting to watch, especially seeing how they actually knew each other and exactly what Spencer's character did do to get him into the current state that he is now. And there's also a lot more that goes back to the story of trauma through injuries and head trauma through concussions. That is also very interesting to watch because these things are very important. But yeah, not a great season, but definitely an interesting season. And if you are a fan of sports and you did enjoy shows like Entourage, then Ball is the show for you. But oh man, everybody, Westworld, that is the show that I have to talk about. And I don't know how I can possibly talk about it because this show is one serious mindfuck and I love it to bits because of it. Westworld, of course, is based on the Michael Crichton written and directed film from 1973 of the same name, and it stars a slew of fantastic actors, including Jeffrey Wright, Sir Anthony Hopkins, Evan Rachel Wood, Jason Marsden, and of course, one of my personal favorites, the badass Ed Harris, and my god, he has the best character in the entire story, not to mention another great character who is Maeve that is played brilliantly by Tandy Newton. She definitely has a very interesting role to play in this. It's very loosely connected to 
the original film, which I still haven't seen, but I am announcing this right now that it will be a movie that I will be seeing next year and reviewing. This show, by the episode, you have to literally have your ears and eyes glued to your television set because you are going to miss something important. I know for a solid fact that I have to rewatch this show again, and I am definitely going to own this show on DVD because this is a show that I can watch numerous times because there are so many levels and so many layers to these characters and this story that you are truly going to have to give this show multiple watches in order to understand what's going on. And don't even get me started on the amazing plot twist that we've already gotten. It's only going to be 10 episodes. We've got two episodes left, but this show had a big budget, high expectations, and a whole bunch of extra seasons already being written and in the works. This show is the next Game of Thrones. I think that it is definitely something that we're glad to have after Game of Thrones is officially done in the next two years, and I can't recommend Westworld enough. If you love science fiction, if you love a true, dark, deep, thought-provoking story, it's a must for you to watch. And that's my first day of TV sweeps, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Please put your comments in the box below. And let's talk about any of these shows that I've mentioned. And I will see you tomorrow for the next episode and Action Speak Louder Than Words.